The lipids are another important category of organic molecules. Lipids are a very diverse group that includes triglycerides, the fats and oils, fatty acids, phospholipids, steroids, eicosanoids, lipoproteins, and fat-soluble vitamins. Lipids make up about 18 to 25 percent of an average adult's body mass, and like the carbohydrates, are also composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. A difference is that lipids don't have as many oxygen atoms, and as a result, have fewer polar covalent bonds compared to carbohydrates. Because of this, most lipids are hydrophobic, which means they are insoluble in polar solvents like water. One exception are the lipoproteins, which consist of hydrophobic lipids, shown in yellow, surrounded by an outer layer of hydrophilic proteins, shown in purple. These form complexes that help make lipids more soluble in blood and easier to transport. Now let's review some characteristics of these different types of lipids. The fatty acids are simple lipids that are used to synthesize other lipids, such as triglycerides and phospholipids. Fatty acids are also catabolized, or broken down, in order to manufacture ATP for cellular energy. Fatty acids have a simple structure consisting of a carboxyl group shown in red, attached to a hydrocarbon chain of hydrogen and carbon atoms. Fatty acids are classified as being either saturated or unsaturated. A saturated fatty acid, like the one shown here, has only single covalent bonds between the carbon atoms of its hydrocarbon chain. Because of this, we say that each of the carbon atoms in the saturated fat is saturated or bonded with all of the hydrogen atoms that they can bond to and cannot form any double covalent bonds. Think of the word saturated like the way we describe a sponge that has absorbed all of the water it can hold. It is completely saturated with water. In a similar way, the fatty acid has absorbed or bonded with all of the hydrogen atoms that it can hold. Because of these single covalent bonds, saturated fats have a straight, linear shape that allows them to pack very closely together. In contrast, unsaturated fatty acids contain one or more double covalent bonds between the carbon atoms of their hydrocarbon chains. So this means that unsaturated fats are not completely saturated with hydrogen bonds and have a kink or bend in the chain at the location of the double bond. This bent chain structure helps prevent unsaturated fats from packing closely together. We can classify unsaturated fats based on the number of double bonds they possess. Monounsaturated fats, such as oleic acid, have one double bond in their hydrocarbon chains. while polyunsaturated fats, like linoleic acid, contain more than one double bond. The most abundant lipids in the human body and diet are the triglycerides, also known as the fats and oils. They function in energy storage, protection, and insulation. Triglycerides are the body's most concentrated form of chemical energy, providing more than twice the energy per gram as compared to carbohydrates and proteins. When we consume too many carbohydrates, fats, oils, and proteins in our diets, they are all stored as triglycerides in adipose tissue. The triglycerides are made up of not one, but two different types of chemical building blocks 
a glycerol molecule, and three fatty acids. Glycerol is a three-carbon sugar alcohol molecule that serves as the triglyceride's backbone. The three fatty acids are attached to each of glycerol's three carbon atoms through dehydration synthesis reactions. Fats are triglycerides that are solid at room temperature and consist mostly of saturated fatty acids. Because saturated fats don't have any double covalent bonds, they can pack closely together and more easily form solids at room temperature. Saturated fats are common in red meat, dairy products like whole milk, cheese, and butter, and some plant products including cocoa butter and coconut oil. A diet high in saturated fats has also been linked to heart disease because these fats can pack closely together in blood vessels and form plaques that can block the vessel. Oils are triglycerides that are liquid at room temperature and consist mostly of unsaturated fatty acids. The presence of double bonds in the unsaturated fatty acid structure creates kinks in the chain that prevent them from packing closely together to form solids. Oils can be either monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. Monounsaturated oils are triglycerides containing mostly monounsaturated fatty acids. Examples include peanut oil, canola oil, olive oil, nuts, and avocados. Polyunsaturated oils are triglycerides containing mostly polyunsaturated fatty acids. Examples include sunflower oil, corn oil, safflower oil, and fishes rich in fats such as tuna and salmon. Both monounsaturated and polyunsaturated oils are considered to be heart healthy and can help reduce the risk of heart disease.